Welcome to another episode of Dynamic Diecasters, where this week we're going to continue our Star Trek The Next Generation Enterprise build. With this uh, episode being uh, stages 51 through 54, and when we come back, uh, we'll go ahead and get started on uh, stage 51. Welcome back. Like I said before, our fabulous intro, um, we'll be working on stages 51 through 54 today. And this uh, episode will actually be the last one we do for quite some time until uh, the Eagle Moss uh, debacle uh, starts to get resolved, at least. Um, so, um, this... Uh, We'll go ahead and get started on 51. It'll be more or less the same as we've seen in previous um, episodes where we put together deck panels. And I think we work on the nacelle at some point today as well. So with that, we'll go ahead and get started. I'll go through the parts and then we'll I'll put together the build and I'll show you what we did. But I'll go ahead and get all the parts and screws out of here. So the first part is deck panel U210. right here then we've got four escape pod covers we've got 10 dark windows we've got the nacelle lower frame then we've got a deck panel light right here then we've got a bunch of screws so we've got six bm screws four dm screws and four cp screws so with that, we'll go ahead and get started, and I'll show you what we do when we get back. See you in about 30 seconds. And that's it for stage 51. So we took the deck panel from this stage and we added in uh, the deck panels that we assembled in stages 49 and 50, assembled all of them together and then installed them on the saucer right here. So this is the, the um, culmination of 51. The nacelle piece that we got in this stage, it said hold on to that for later stages and it looks like we might do something in this in stage 52 with that. So as you saw, the, the top saucer piece is almost completely assembled now. Um, we don't have much left on that. So we'll go ahead and get started on stage 52. Again, more deck panel assembly. And I mean, again, it's gonna be, this build is gonna be a lot of that, even when it continues after the Eagle Moss debacle gets figured out, hopefully. Um, because it's literally deck panel. So I've got one side almost done. I've obviously got a whole other, the bottom section of the saucer to do the same thing with. So it'll be a lot more of that. So um, with that, I'll go through these parts and we'll go ahead and build this section and go, go from there. I think that's it for this stage. So first parts, let's see, we'll go back to the part listing. So we've got deck panel U109 right here. We've got reflector panel U109A. So that obviously will go on that piece. Then we've got deck panel lights got five clear windows and 10 dark windows. 
Then we've got a transporter emitter pad, which it looks like will go on this deck panel. And then we've got the nasal front lower, which obviously this might be the other side of the nasal that we're starting, uh, come to think of it. And then we've got the Bussard EM field projector lower. I'd have to look to see if this is the same color as the one we got as the replacement or if they'll have to replace that one too. And then lastly, we've got six BM screws and four DM screws. So with that, we'll go ahead and get started on this stage. And in about 30 seconds, I'll show you what we do when we get back. See you then. So that was it for stage 52. So what we did was, if you remember the nacelle piece from 51, we installed these two pieces on it. So that was the first thing we did. Second part was we put together the deck panel and we installed it right here and we plugged it into the PCB board. So now you can see it's really coming together. In this stage, I think we installed this piece right here. So the only piece that's actually going to be left on this, which this stage is going to be interesting because there's a ton of pieces you'll see when, when I pull it out, but the only piece that's left is the one piece we got at the very beginning that'll sit right here. So after this stage, this entire part will be finished, I think for the most part. So that'll be interesting to see. Um, but uh, we'll go ahead and move on to stage 53. Like I said, there's a big piece you'll see that we pull out and I show you that's basically the whole bottom section of the saucer. But you'll see there's a ton of escape pod covers and stuff on it. I'm hoping there's one that's not gonna, like there's just gonna be an attachment, but we'll see. <laughs> Cause there's more escape pod covers on there than there are that they give you in the package so at least it seems like it anyway but well, we'll see maybe I'm looking at it wrong but it doesn't seem like we get everything for that piece in this stage so we may not even be installing it uh, at this point um, so anyway we'll, we'll see we'll go through the parts and then um, will complete the build. So first part, like I said, was deck panel U301. So as you can see, it's a big piece. And see, like I said, there's a lot more than 12 escape pod covers <laughs> on this. My thought is we're not gonna be touching either one of these, that we might just be working on the middle part right now. Um, because there's 12 escape pod covers, but we'll see. So that's the U, uh, that's the first uh, deck panel. Then we've got U301A1 reflector and A2 reflector. Then we've got the, what they call the Arboretum, which is this piece right here, which is basically the cover for the middle part. That's why I think we'll be working on the middle part in this stage. And like I said, there's 12 escape pod covers, five, uh, five clear windows and 10 dark windows. Then we've got a deck panel light and then we've got three bussard collector reflectors, um, which will be part of the nacelle. Then lastly, we've got six DM screws, which if you're familiar, typically the DM screws deal with the reflector panels. So that's why I don't think we'll be attaching this part in this stage, which kind of sucks, but maybe we'll be doing it in the next stage, um, hopefully. But, um, cause I'd like to see this put together before the conclusion of this episode, but with that being said, we'll go ahead and get started on stage 53 in about 30 seconds. I'll show you what we did. See you.
And that's it for stage 53. And as I suspected, we would not be installing it during this stage. Um, but, um, so for the first part we did was um, we installed the bussard collector right here um, and added the light. Said this would be secured in this stage, so we'll be working more with this in stage 54. Um, but that's the current assembly of the first NASA we've been working on up to this point. Uh, obviously, it doesn't have the top, but um, pretty much mostly assembled at this point. Um, then we worked on this panel. So like I thought, we would, based on the amount we had, we would be working on the middle panel. So you see it right here. We installed all the lights. And let's see, I'll show it to you lit up. There's only one light um, attached so far. I don't know if it lights up both sides um, or not, but we'll go ahead and light this and show you. The other side's dark, so it doesn't really need any lighting. These are all dark windows, so the only lit up ones are right there. So I guess that makes sense that you wouldn't need a deck light for that side, but that's it lit up. Um, in stage 54, my suspicion is we'll be completing this um, piece uh, because really at this stage, and like I said, they'll be working more with the nacelle, but that's what we did in stage 53. We'll go ahead and move on to stage 54. And after this stage, um, that's it for this episode. And as you heard at the beginning, this is the last box I have currently uh, for the Enterprise build. So um, until Eagle Moss gets sorted out with if somebody takes over this build or not, um, which there's a suspicion there is somebody out there that's taking it over, but nothing's happened as of yet. So I'm getting my hopes up, but I'm not. But this is one of the builds that if any were gonna get taken over from Eagle Moss. I think the three builds that I'm currently doing on the channel are the ones that will get taken up. So the DeLorean, the Ecto-1, and the Enterprise. So, but we'll see when the time comes. But with that, uh, we got stage 54. Uh, the first couple of parts, you notice we don't have a deck panel on this. That's why I think we're going to be working on this one. This is one of the first ones we don't actually have a deck panel in. But we do have two reflector panels. So we've got reflector panel U301A and then U301A3. I said those backwards, I think. But regardless, there are two reflector panels that will go on the edges of this. Then we've got 24 escape pod covers, which I think is the most escape pod covers I've ever had in one stage currently. But as you can see, there's a ton of escape pods on this remaining so makes sense that there would be a lot of them then we've got two deck panel lights which again there's two reflector panels so that would tell me that's what those are for we've got um 10 clear windows and then 15 dark windows We've got a Bussard Collector Reflector Cover, which must be how you secure the Bussard in this stage that I was referring to before. Then we've got three stickers. Um, then lastly, we've got a few screws, actually quite a few screws. So we've got two AM screws. We've got six DM screws, so these will have to do with the reflectors. Um, we've got 10 FM screws, and then we've got eight CP screws, so a ton of screws in this stage. So um, it could be the fact that we're assembling this piece, but normally they're BM screws and CP screws, not FM screws, but these might be a little bit different, but we'll see. With that, we'll go ahead and get started on the stage and I'll show you what we do when we get back. Um, hopefully, we install that piece, but we'll see.
And that's it for stage 54. One of the things we did was we took that nacelle piece and put it on the top. I'm having an issue connecting the this piece. For some reason, it doesn't want to stay in there. Um, so I'll work on that in the interim. But this is what it looks like currently. Um, I might actually light it up just to see what it looks like with everything built in it so far. Um, and see what it actually looks like because I haven't looked at it since I... So this is what it currently looks like built up. Don't know how good you're picking that up on camera, but see there's the red light. There's the other blinking light, but we don't have the top part of this, and this is what the the front part looks like lit up. I'll have to fix this middle part too. Looks like one of the pieces came out in my assembly, so I'll have to work on that as well. <laughs> uh, the other part that I did, or that we completed was, you'll see, we actually have done pretty much the entire the top part of the saucer now. So we installed that piece that we've been working on back here. So the only other piece I believe is the part where the battery pack is actually gonna go that sits right here. There might be a panel here, I can't remember, but I do know most of it's right here that we already have. Um, so, but with that, um, like I told you before, this is the last box I've received from Eagle Moss. So going forward to replace this build will be the solar system build that my son's going to be doing. Um, and then, like I told you before, the Ecto-1 has been replaced by Knight Rider and DeLorean has been replaced by Titanic. In the next Dynamic Diecasters video, you'll see the X-Wing build. Um, and then we'll have a few more uh, unboxing videos probably strewn in there. Um, depending upon what I've received from various places. But if you guys haven't already subscribed, we just recently hit a thousand subscribers. So I'm happy to see that people are enjoying the channel. But if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel and hit that bell so you get notified when new videos come out. Um, but for all of us at the Heart of Geek, I hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good night.